Random, random, let's go. It's always Melting Remnant, and it's the Consume Spell guy. I hate you. Alright, well... We've got kind of a Thorns shenanigan together. What else do I get? I'm gonna get Indulgence, because Iron Drop Cage is basically worthless. Bristling. Sure, we can make Sentient to have a lot of health and spikes. Non-boss enemies enter with spikes 3. Well, we're not attacking like 90% of the time, so sure. Awoken at last. I can even glimmer, but you die anyway, so... I have no way of bringing you back if I play you. Oh, you little... Always gotta play on the top row, because he'll always appear there, and I can't touch him. <sighs> Thank you, game. I ever get to tell you how much that you are my bestest friend? A friend the likes of which the world has never seen before. Die. Tremble in fear. Right. Card draw off of Sting. Um, you die on the first round of combat, so that's fine by me. Hit a damage threshold. Doesn't actually prevent much of anything. to me. I should be killing a collector each and every single time. Fine, we'll take molded. At least we got two good cards from the start. Um, I guess I can go for like instant spell upgrade because the unit we get, most wax and units aren't that great. Hold over. Restoration detonation ain't bad, but molded it is just better, sadly. Uh, if I get something like that, I'm not going to be able to make use of it. So we're going to pump up restoration and start deleting train stewards. Enemies enter with 10 armor and they rush. And I have one way of hitting the back row. The answer to this, of course, is no. Perfect. Not this time.
Oh no, this is unfortunate. Um Well Sir and Sirettes, I don't exactly have a choice now, do I? I'll offload you here. I'll hold on to mold it, even though it doesn't do a single thing for me. Deal seven. The restoration won't prevent you from dying. We can mold it a lot of units, but none of them would allow us to survive. We're not dead. I, I, I should apologize. We aren't dead, we're just wounded. I want to take more preserved thorns, but... I should vine grasp. Move some units around. Tombed explosives. Just permanently resurrect a bomb. You know, the works. I've got nothing I want to copy, because a second molded is kind of worthless. But I will go for an Awoken unit. And, ooh. Yes. A quick Awoken is my jam. Um... I ain't giving you my money. I ain't giving you my money. I ain't giving you my money. Sure. I'll take that little relic. Merchant of Magic. You've got nothing I'm remotely interested in. Um, I can make restoration detonation cost zero. Is that good? I don't know. I'd have to re-roll. No, I'll surge stone on glimmer. Have one glimmer be the big boom, burn out everything card. I think that's be kind of worthless. Hey, Daedalus. Long time old friend, long time no see. Here we go again, explosive sigil. Enemies, when they die, deal one damage to the front person on that row. I could do sentient and animus of speed. It's not like it'd be bad. Or, let's do the animus of speed on the second row. We don't need to glimmer. Um, you're not dead, but that's okay. take a little bit less and I'll start the revival process up a boom so that's you dead and that's that front unit dead and we can even heal Still nothing to revive. Eat this entombed explosive 
the lot of you. The final wave commences. I don't have big glimmer. Unfortunate. Nah, I can hit you with a drag. Keep doing entombed explosive. It's only helpful. And then we've been reforming and reforging this entombed explosive to make it specifically designed to kill you. And guess what? It won't do that, because somehow you're still alive. Not anymore. There, are you happy now? Penumbra, or I think it's just called Penumbra. Morsels eating everything. Devouring minions and the like. Devourer of death. Well, we know how it works, and a harvest card isn't bad in the setup. So we will take a devourer of death. The big sludge. I don't need a multi-strike effect, and I don't need a wickless tycoon. Light of Seraph. This board is going wide, not tall. Artifacts, health, and removal of bad cards. Or, we can try to upgrade our units. I think I'm going to try for the upgrade. Revenge, gain one energy. None of those are good enough, in my opinion. Rejuvenate isn't bad. 15 damage to the front enemy, and I could ping constantly. But... I'd rather take bristling. Well, the thing here is you're offering me quick and multi-strike. All in one cheap and efficient card. You shouldn't have. We will actually re-roll here. We can't do endless. But what we can do is Animus of Speed gets the damage boost. The Heartstone goes to the Devourer of Death. And here we go. To battle. Enemies enter with 15 armor. Way to Contrition and Clipped Guardians. We aren't killing the Clipped Guardians anytime soon. 
but we can definitely play most of the weights of contrition and the like. So I can deal with the 15 armor. So Devourer of Death gets played, Sentient gets played. Nothing here dies. You only take one energy. I don't want the multi-strike. I can use you as a spell. Actually, that's not a horrible idea. A new purpose is found. Then I can leave this molten encasement on the one above. You. And of course you're blocking. I hate you so much, like you wouldn't believe. I will put you down. There we go. Worth it. And before you question it, yes, it very much was worth it. Want me to tell you why? Well, first things first. Kaboom. Second thing was second. Kaboom. Doesn't actually do anything. Third thing's third. We can start the burnout spelling of our lifetime. The form now wakes. Um, that doesn't kill you. Second thought, nothing here does. You get pulled to the front so you die. And then you can come out here to help finish this off. Hello again, Animus of Speed returns. Punchy, punchy, punchy. Wait, how did you die? Oh, right, you would die by attacking the sentient. Right. Um. Eh. Sting guarantees your demise. We can remold an entombed explosive. Because you'll burn out end of combat, so you'll die too. I can't play the other. Oh well. Train steward get up top. These both die off, and that's okay. Wait, why did they die? All right, you explode. This is a whole lot of nothing. Um, we'll reforge the Aminimus of Speed to return once again to destroy you, and that's game. I am so proud of this community. There's so much no attacking. And then... Kaboom. I could do some pyre shards.
Yeah, I need some spikes. Nah, I don't need some spikes. What am I talking about? I'm crazy. Drawing an additional one every time you die isn't bad. And the fact that I want you to die repeatedly is also good. Why did I not take the extinguish card to have the bomb go off? I feel so stupid. Um, do I have units that I would love to be upgraded? Devourer of Death, maybe. Votaberry, maybe, but not really. Um, yeah, let's go for the artifact. Units cost negative two. We don't have anything that actually costs a lot at all. So we make it so we draw more. I could fill my entire deck with Sting! No, that's not worth it. It really isn't. Okay, look here, buddy. Old pal of mine. Um, we can work together, you see? We can upgrade you into a better form. And then we'll even re-roll. And I guess we'll... make you restore more. And you know what else should cost nothing? None of these, because all these are terrible. We'll even remove one, because they're so bad and cluttering my deck. Let's go. Spell Shield 2. It's kind of my nemesis, right? Yeah, yeah, they're kind of my nemesis. I'll fight normally. It be. Oh, if only I could have these guys attack first. Oh well. I want the Animus to actually kill this one. And the Votaberry can't die either. Wow, this is like an awful setup. Well, this glimmer ain't bad. That is kind of exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, look here, buddy. You can kill the other one, I don't care. Actually, what am I doing? Well, I can't stop it now. Start the Entombed Explosives. Vine Grasp your death. No healing. You can regen a little bit, and then you both will burn away. You will also burn away so we can deal some harm. Mini Monkey the Mess, yes, welcome. I know, it's rather difficult to catch my streams. It's, it, it's been difficult for me to stream consistently. Anyway, you're now guaranteed to die. You're going to die. Well, I'll lose a little bit of health on the pyre, but that's all right. What the heck am I gonna do but you? You both burn away. I could put the votary behind it, but that doesn't help. You see, I'm stuck. I don't know how to answer this question. I want the Votary to die, but I can't make him die. Her die. You know what? Good enough. Well, no, you still died of the pyre, so that's okay with you dying there. And then you can set up in the rear guard to start stabbing. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, no. For some reason, I have a huge, like, 
Where'd you be? 5 a.m., six hours behind me. Somewhere in the Philippines or Hawaii, or is that six? No, that's six hours ahead. So. It always feels weird to me that the time zones don't feel that small. Britain? No. That doesn't seem right. Not in the slightest. Oh, thank God you actually die. Um, except not really. That's not a thank God moment. That's a bad moment. You dig? And that offs you. That's okay. Um, you'll die off. You'll live. You'll blow up. Votaveri can go out in front. But that magically makes you all live. Feels very weird to me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's another thing I need to do, is I actually need to update basically everything. Everything is very outdated. Like, I think it still claims I stream every Tuesday and Saturday, and that's not even true. And the stream manager looks so weird, so I don't actually see what the regular stream thing actually looks like anymore. Uh, Votavari is fine. You explode. That's okay. Don't need the molten encasement, but I guess I'll throw you two up here to be a small safeguard, I guess. Get your health back in order. Let's see, that would pop 10 of your health. That puts you below the threshold, which is good enough for me. You've got 14 souls. That is actually crazy to me. Entombed explosive will not die off, unfortunately. I can let the vote of Ari die. And the result is the same. And we can start working on healing you. Fair enough. And if you do, all I can say is welcome. Well, here you are, Miss Priesty Girl. Eh? I guess we'll just keep tossing these stings. Votaveri doesn't hurt, so to speak. Animus of Speed's still alive. You die, which is okay. You can come back. And blame it all on me. Such a shame that this doesn't kill you. Oh well. We tried our best to make a bigger bomb. That's fair. I do kind of need to go a bit earlier in my streaming. Ah, uh, the big bomb went off. And you're dead by the Animus of Speed. However, for giggles and grins. And actually, check. You don't have soul, right? Yeah, you start off with none. You don't die, which is fine. Why did I hit you with regen? Whoops. Uh, I shouldn't do that. I should be more careful. Thank you, Animus of Speed, for carrying me and my stupidity through this run. I don't need more preserved thorns. The one is good and always. Oh, you consume spells, right? Yeah, yeah, fine. 
I don't need another vote of Ari. That was 14 harvests, but at least half of them were mine. A fatal melting doesn't seem like a horrible idea, but I'm not taking it. Let's see here. Do I, no, the trinkets are always in the opposite side of the card deletion effect. And it's fell, which might determine if this run ends tonight. Because unfortunately, due to my having to push my time slot into non-existence... Well, actually, if fell doesn't take... If fell kills me really quickly, I have enough time to do one more run. I'd have to go to sleep almost immediately afterwards. I actually could play the get the relics for something that could possibly help, plus the boon. No, I should actually delete some of the train stewards. Get out. Get out. This is actually good, as dumb as it looks for Seraph the Traitor. Vine Grasp to kill those units in the back that do not deserve existence. We are not going to purge another card, though, because I'd rather get Trinkets. Well, Fowl is only that difficult because you're about halfway through getting your build in order. Seraph is... Seraph's difficulty is that he's just got big stats. Fowl is only hard because you just aren't ready. Your build is, like, part way there. And you aren't built up yet. Sentient appears. You die off, which is fine. Animus of speed begins to work down here. Killing that one immediately. And toss out the dregs. We don't need the consumption just yet, though. And I think we are fine. Yeah, Fel's random gimmick is also usually pretty bad. A ba boom, getting rid of that. It doesn't can't, but it gets us through that problem very quickly. Let's let the Votaveri die. I can let Big Boomba go off in his tumba. Actually, this is better overall. We don't have any units to mold. But we can by having this one explode. Oh god, the little Votaveri gets to deal one point of damage to Fel. Congratulations. It's just the wee baby. Oh, you're a sweeper. God, I hate sweepers with a burning passion. Sure, we can play this now. You're dead, that's fine. You explode, that's fine. What's your slate trigger? Rage. Heals you, heals you, your health doesn't matter. Usually. She's honestly a good midway boss. Oh god, my hand actually got full. I'm scared. Um, what am I reforming? Entombed Explosive. No reason not to. Kaboomba. Sting. Burn. Heal everyone. Sting. I can't Restoration Detonation. That's unfortunate. Pop on over here with a drag. What else am I doing? 
No, I don't need to pull you forward. I can't blow up things because I just my stuff just isn't unhealthy enough. I could deal more. Yeah, you know what? Actually, killing them off seems like it's decent. Kill them, please. You have multi-strike. Deal five damage. How are you not killing them both? Oh, stealth. Right. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. I need a moment. The <laughs> Woodberry deals another point of damage to Fell. I'm so glad. Anyway, you swing wide, sweet cherry on high. Come take me home. Uh, here. Take it. And you will get stung in the face for as much damage as I can physically manage. You suffer and burn out and die, but that's okay. My day is quite fine, thank you very much. I'm in the middle of a summer course and wound up taking a uh, test that I didn't realize had a second part today. I gave myself more than enough time to complete it, thankfully. But that was, um, shall we say, very unfun. Oh, thank God this Votary actually dies. You all explode. Oh, you've still got stealth. Not anymore. How do you have... How do you have two levels of stealth on this guy? What? <sighs> I'm not going to question it. Anyway. But yeah, that was uh, fun to wake up to. I can't kill you. And then I went into trying to do some secret laboratory stuff, but I can see that for all the hype that they did for their big update, they added like five items. And it was really, really, really just not my thing because nothing happened. Fell, look here, I have a stinging desire to put an end to your madness, please. Oh my god, you're not dead yet. There we go. Big Boomba in the Toomba. Say hello to Big Boomba. On the Votaberry. Burn bright like a diamond. Hmm, so how's your day been? Oh yeah, it's a very... strategic card-based game, and so it is always moderately difficult. D uh, you're... you're serious. This only deals... Really? Okay, um... Molded. What do we got? Molten Encasement, part two. In case harder, father. Um, do I have anything? Yeah, I can keep bombing, and then I can just keep stinging. I could place out the Votaberry. Because at least she'll feel like she's doing some damage. Um, there's no detonation here, so I guess... Can't move the boss, that's fine. I wish I could gain more health, but I can see this just not happening. 
This looks like we're gonna lose to Fel again, actually. My hand is too full. On the bright side, in spite of all this, the one thing I can definitely say is God I can keep casting spells. Now, what will actually- you will unironically live the longest. And that's what sucks. Because I can't give enough burnout to anything else to survive. So, here's to hoping, and hope is uh, very, very misplaced. <sighs> I tried. Well, uh. the Votaberry tries, but the Votaberry does not succeed. Is there anything I can reform? I mean, I can keep reforming the Entombed Explosive. It's about the only thing that's worth reforming, sadly. Place you here in the middle, and Fel takes 62 damage. Fel, all I can say is uh, thank you, you beautiless, heartless harpy. You have ruined yet another perfectly good run. That's understandable. I tend to be a mastermind type person, so sitting in the back and ordering my minions to do things tends to feel better for me. This isn't bad of a minion, I guess. Pyrgro. Okay, you know what? I could see this card being buffed and actually being really good. <sighs> well, we died to fell, but I've got enough time, so uh, let us go for a new run.